In this lecture, I will demonstrate how we can make heat maps. Heat maps are used for visualizing point data and help identify clusters of high and low values. So first, let me read in some point data. Layer. Delimited text layer. Okay, since I'm reading geographic point data and I have latitude and longitude, so I'm reading it in form of point coordinates. Okay, now this green area is the shape file for Sierra Leone, which is a country in Western Africa. And about two years ago, it was struck by the Ebola hemorrhagic fever. These are the data for Ebola community care centers. Basically, this is where people in Sierra Leone go to seek help if they are struck with Ebola. I procured these data from this particular website and if you want to know more about reading in point data, you can refer back to my earlier course. Anyway, now what I want to do is to visualize where exactly or, or the parts where we have high concentration of the community care centers for Ebola. So I can do this purely as a visualization exercise by going into properties. Now in the style, in the, uh, under the drop down, I have a heat map. And I can keep the other factors as it is. Apply. Okay. So basically we can see that this particular area has a high concentration of the Ebola community care centers. Uh, there is also a plugin present within raster called heat map and you can install it from plugins and this is where you have plugins manage and install plugins and you can install the plugin of heat map and what this does is basically it uses kernel density estimation to produce a density raster based on the number of points in a location and that is the heat map so the input point layer is already here and I want the output raster and I'll just make it hot one and keep everything else uh, the same okay now this looks better we can actually see a more distributed heat map and we can see that this particular area does have a high concentration or a high density of the community care centers and as does this area and other areas have a lower concentration of the bespoke community care centers for Ebola. Now there might be situations when we don't have point data. Remember heat maps they will only work with point data so these are the mining concession areas present in the Republic of Congo. So, and I want to see if there's some kind of spatial clustering in the mining concession areas. So I will have to generate a kind of a point layer first. So I go to geometry tools under vector and go to polygon centroids. Here I can create a point layer of centroids and these are the centroids for the mining concession polygons. Now I can go in here, properties and produce a heat map. And as you can see here that we do have a concentration of mining concessions or a high concentration of mining concessions in this part and in this part. Again, I can go back and do the same uh, with the actual heat map plugin. In addition to generating heat maps for 
visualizing the concentration of data values, we can carry out interpolation, which is that we can actually build a raster surface from point data. And that is something I'll cover in the subsequent lectures. See you there.